River Song was very strong-willed. Though brainwashed and raised to kill him, she decided the doctor was worth it and saved his life, giving up all her regenerations to do so. TV. Let's kill Hitler. She resisted the upgraded astronaut suit and refused to kill him, heedless of the consequences. TV. The Wedding of River Song. River was flirtatious and cheeky like her mother, Amy. Like her father, Rory, she was stubborn, responsible and fiercely compassionate. She enjoyed showing off for the doctor. She teased him and liked using the word, spoilers, whenever the subject turned to the doctor's future. This began when the doctor assigned her to document their adventures in the TARDIS diary. She adopted the word from the doctor. He, however, used the word with Donna before he met River, establishing that not only he did not learn it from her, he foreshadowed her saying it to him when he met her. TV. Silence in the library. H-O-M-E-V-I-D. Last night. She kept her diary from him. TV. Silence in the library. Forest of the dead. And hid that his death at Lake Silencio was a hoax from everyone except her parents. Waiting until the time was right to confide the real fate of the doctor. Without altering the course of a fixed point in time. River visited Amy and Rory after they found out that she was their daughter. TV. The Wedding of River's Song. As she neared Darilium and their adventures were coming to an end, River questioned the doctor openly on her future, stating that she knew he was the kind of man who would give her a diary with the right amount of pages for her use, thus knowing when it was nearly full, their adventures were at an end. TV, The Husbands of River Song As soon as Amy and Rory knew they were her parents, she happily stopped calling them by their first names and called them mother and dad. She only used their given names when referring to them with a third person such as the doctor. TV. Let's Kill Hitler. The Wedding of River Song. The Angels Take Manhattan. She also learned a lot from her parents. For example, when she was younger, she would back off from the doctor's verbal onslaughts until Amy's support and push taught her to not back down. TV. The Wedding of River Song. The Impossible Astronaut. The Angels Take Manhattan. River seemed at ease with being kept in prison much of her life for a crime she didn't commit and often flirted with the guards or made jokes about the facility. Even once stating that she was, breaking in not out, which seemed to be a subtle taunt to the security of what was supposed to be an extremely secure prison. TV. Flesh and Stone. A good man goes to war. She was able to escape from prison. As though the walls aren't there, according to the doctor. H-O-M-E-V-I-D first night. Nevertheless, she did work towards earning a pardon, eventually succeeding when the doctor deleted records of himself from the universe. TV. Flesh and Stone. The Time of Angels. The Angels Take Manhattan. She later stated she had a significant history of escaping. TV. The Husbands of River Song. River loved flirting with people and was constantly hitting on the doctor although she also had a tendency to flirt with other people such as prison guards and Hitler's soldiers. She often greeted the doctor with the words, Hello sweetie. TV. Silence in the library. Flesh and stone. The Pandorica opens. Let's kill Hitler. The wedding of River Song. She was also rather vain, believing that her cleavage could fell an ox at 20 feet. TV. The angels take Manhattan. River was very confident in her abilities and she was very hard to intimidate, showing no fear when faced with the weeping angels, the silence or the Vashta Narada. She was also very good at hiding her emotions and didn't like to show weakness. She was devastated when her parents were stolen by a weeping angel but unlike the doctor she encouraged Amy to go to be with Rory and didn't break down after the angel transported Amy away, showing a far greater level of self-control than her husband and watching the weeping angel so it could not attack them while the doctor looked away. TV. The angels take Manhattan. River was deeply in love with the doctor, even though she had been raised to kill him. She knew the doctor more than most. River had pictures of the first 12 doctors, including knowledge of the war doctor. She learned of the doctor's wasted regeneration and was surprised when the doctor was given a new regeneration cycle. TV, The Husbands of River Song. She teased Madame Covarian about the mistake she made by kidnapping her since Covarian was partially responsible for her falling in love with the doctor in the first place. 
She stated at one point she didn't fear death but rather meeting a version of the doctor who didn't know her at all. In this conversation, she told Rory that she lived for her adventures with the doctor, even ones who don't know they are romantically involved, but felt that meeting a doctor who doesn't know her yet would kill her. TV, The Impossible Astronaut. As she matured, she grew into a much more selfless person and showed a willingness to sacrifice herself, eventually giving her life to save the Tenth Doctor. TV, Forest of the Dead, The Time of Angels. When the Twelfth Doctor learnt of all her other marriages, he asked River, who had no idea who he was, about her marriage to him. She indicated that she just found him very useful sometimes. However, when confronted by Fleming, she revealed that she really did love the doctor and never denied it. However, she believed he didn't love her in return which was confirmed by a scan conducted by King Hydroflax's body. River described loving the doctor as like loving the stars. You don't expect a sunset to admire you back. However, she revealed she was fine with this and believed the doctor was above falling in love with people. She also believed that if she were in danger, the doctor wasn't stupid, sentimental or in love enough with her to be in danger with her. When River realized she just said that in front of the doctor, she got emotional and claimed she was just buying time. TV, The Husbands of River Song. River learned a hard lesson when she first met Clara Oswald. Surprised to meet the newest companion since her and her parents' deaths, she asked if the doctor had talked about her. She was very hurt when Clara told her the doctor had done so in a manner that left her ignorant of River being his wife, having only mentioned that he had known of Professor Song. The doctor never came to say goodbye to her or rescued her beloved diary from the library on the day it was safe from the Vashta Narada. She became a guide and helped Clara when the doctor went to the field of Trenzalore, even going as far as revealing some secrets of how she came to be. She saved Clara, the doctor, and everyone else from the Whispermen by saying the doctor's real name, first muting her connection with Clara so this secret couldn't be heard by anyone except the TARDIS. TV. The name of the doctor. River shared the doctor's habit of avoiding answering a question by answering a previous question. Like her mother, she was able to follow the 11th doctor's train of thought so well that she could explain it to others. TV. The Time of Angels. She enjoyed drinking cocktails and ginger ale. Audio. An unearthly woman. River had varying opinions of the doctor's earlier selves. She didn't like the first, second, and sixth doctors. She got along with the third exceptionally well, and she remained somewhat neutral about the fourth, seventh, and eighth doctors, just voicing her shock at some of the traits they had, and her admiration of the latter's TARDIS. She wrote on the fifth doctor's short temper, as well as a note to herself to avoid setting the ninth doctor off about the time war, suggesting arguments had ensued between her and these incarnations. She otherwise only elaborated on their traits. Game. The Eternity Clock. She had mistaken the tenth doctor as her husband upon meeting him. TV. Silence in the Library. While a younger river liked guns and was seen to carry them often. TV. The Pandorica Opens. The Big Bang. The Impossible Astronaut, Day of the Moon. Her older selves lacked this tendency. TV. The Angels Take Manhattan, Silence in the Library, Forest of the Dead, The Husbands of River Song. River once made fun of the doctor for using his sonic screwdriver in battle. TV. Day of the Moon. But apparently revised her opinion on this as she later used her own sonic trowel against King Hydroflax's guards and robotic body. TV. The Husbands of River Song. River had the habit of pretending to be Romana, much to Leela and the Fourth Doctor's disbelief. This was in case she needed to pose as a well-known Time Lord. Audio. Someone I once knew, Emancipation. Towards the end of her life during her adventure with the Twelfth Doctor, River displayed a more ruthless, manipulative and selfish side than the Doctor was used to seeing from her. This caused the doctor to wonder if this was what she was actually like when he wasn't around or at least when she didn't know that it was him. TV, The Husbands of River Song. 